What's up, everybody? Last week we went on our annual Smoky Mountain motorcycle trip. I took this Honda CRF 250L. I usually take the Buell back there. That's my preferred bike to take up there. But this year the fork seals are leaking and I hadn't gotten around to fixing it yet. So I took the Honda. And I love riding it around the back roads around my house. It's so light and nimble. But I was afraid that I was going to regret taking it on a long trip like this. From the Middle Tennessee area, it's going to be about 800 or 900 miles total. But uh, with the ergonomics on this bike and the way it's set up, it's so comfortable. The seat concept seat. I was actually glad that I that I took it. It was it was better. Uh, it made a better touring bike than my Buell did, um, and I didn't regret taking it at all. We went all back roads, or not back roads, but highways. We just didn't get ever get on the interstate, so the bike did great for just holding sixty miles an hour. Um, and then once I got out to the the Smoky Mountains. Um, it was probably my favorite bike that I've ever taken on the Dragon. I've taken four different motorcycles now, um, all the way up to a 900 pound cruiser. And this was my favorite bike because it's so light. It was just so much fun. Um, I was wishing I had a bigger bike on the Skyway, but that was the only time. I'm always riding all year long, as long as the weather's decent. I still manage to usually make it, uh, usually manage to get out at least once a week, even through the winter time. So, uh, if you want me to, if you like seeing videos like this, you want me to keep posting them, like this video, uh, subscribe. I appreciate the support and I will keep posting videos like this. Um, and as I make them and here's the video. So here I am getting my bike ready to go on the trip, go meet my buddy. It's 5.30 a.m. in the morning. So here's the route we're taking from the Nashville area, going all highway, avoiding the interstates, basically taking 70 to, to highway 68 um, to Robbinsville, which is 240 miles uh, one way so here we are I think we're on 68 now uh, somewhere on the other side of a uh, Crossville going through Sweetwater and the bike did the trip just fine I mean you can see I'm I'm doing you know good speeds good highway speeds and um, the bike did just great. Now I've got, uh, that's not the stock gearing, I've got the stock uh, front sprocket is, is 14, but my rear sprocket is, is, is two up. So it's a 42. So the gearing is a little bit lower than stock, but I think it's perfect. It kind of makes, um, it makes sixth gear you know have a little bit more oomph to it instead of it just being just like an overdrive you know similar to like your overdrive in your car where it'll just always downshift anytime you hit a little hill with that 42 rear sprocket it makes that overdrive have enough to it to where you don't really have to downshift so I really like it so here we are we're, we're all the way on 129 now there's one of the signs that uh, tells that that um, the road is closed to trucks trucks and trailers um, and we're going by Chillowee Lake, I believe is the name of it. So we're on 129, heading towards the tail of the dragon. So uh, right there is the Foothills Parkway. That takes you to Townsend, takes you through the Smoky Mountain Park. That sign right there says there's an Abrams Creek campground that I've never visited. I looked at it online. It looks like a pretty cool campground if, if you're looking for a... You know, a, a campground with electricity and, and campsites and all that stuff. It looked like it was on a creek with waterfall falls and stuff like that. So um, I'll, I'm going to check that out sometime. 
maybe next time I go up there. But uh, there's all kinds of little places that you can stop and eat lunch on the right over here and stuff. There's picnic tables. That's what we did. We stopped and ate lunch there. All right, so we're almost to the dragon now. Um, when you pretty much when you cross this bridge right here, it's 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 game time. Uh, make sure your tires are all warmed up and everything. Here's another one of those signs that says, let's see, motorcycles, high crash area, next 11 miles. So you're pretty much starting the dragon now.
Now this is Deal's Gap Resort. Uh, it's a restaurant. It's a hotel. They have camping. It's at the end of the Dragon. You know, it's where you come to and you stop and you talk about your, the run you just did and how cool everything was and all that stuff. Take a break. Go to the bathroom. It's where everybody kind of hangs out. Get something to drink um, and all that. So now normally there this parking lot will be packed, but uh, this was during the the coronavirus pandemic so they're just now starting to open things up in the area so uh, we were actually some of the the, the first um, visitors uh, we were the, f the first people that um, had gotten the cabin where we were since the the shutdown but anyway so most people weren't coming to this area yet uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway was still closed down and um, but you know, all the other roads were open uh, this is the tree of shame. This is where they hang all the parts that they find scattered along the, the dragon where people crash. Um, it's always cool to see. Um, it has people sign their parts and stuff, um, date them. I believe the sign says tree of shame, no gain, and lots of pain. some good reminders to not get too carried away while you're riding the dragon that it is real dangerous um, all right so uh, there goes a uh, KTM 1290 Super Duke GT it's one of my I guess dream bikes I guess And here's a couple more. That's those same two Hondas that I, we passed on the Dragon sitting there. So now we're heading towards Robbinsville uh, to get our cabin. And this road, is we're going to go all the way out 129 uh, to Robbinsville. It takes you all the way to Robbinsville. And the road is pretty cool. You know, it's especially really cool right after this Dragon. Now if you go left here, that's Highway 28, which is the Moonshiner which is an awesome road. I highly recommend taking that road all the way uh, to South Carolina. I mean, it's amazing. The it's, it, it truly is something that you need to do when you come to this area. Um, we just did it for the first time on this trip, and so we didn't know what we were missing all this time. Um, but anyway, so we're taking 129 to Robbinsville. Um, this road's pretty cool right here at the beginning, right outside of, right past Dills Gap. And then it just kind of follows the creek or the river. So all these roads up here are great. But uh, anyway, so enjoy the rest of the video. Hope everybody likes and subscribes. And um, we'll see you on the next video.